Hey, welcome back to Terraferma Craft, where I've been doing quite a lot between videos, mostly inconsequential, but um, it's still a bit of progress. So you might be able to see over there, I've got a lot of iron and copper now. And uh, I also have this whole area. <laughs> I expanded my smithing area because I wanted to get some more bloomeries. I have some space for a third one, but I'm really not bothered to get enough bronze to make it now. And also, this is the result of testing if I can make wrought iron with crushed iron. And yes, yes I can. In a single load, I can get 24 wrought iron, which is insane. So pretty much all of my iron is gone now into this pile. And um, I tried putting a dent in my copper by making all of this for other things. I didn't. I still have a lot. And uh, I just moved everything around to give me a bit more space. And I've also got a longer table now. There's less on it. So be it. I haven't really done too much else. Uh, I put the windmill back, and it's bigger than ever. So now I've got two of them, if I ever want to move the quarry again. I've made a, a little bit of stuff out here, because I need to get on top of the uh, bloom race anyway. I cleaned up all of the farm stuff, and <laughs> I wasn't bothered to move the aqueduct, so I just made it a feature now. And that's how I get up and down. Instead of a ladder, I've got a water stream, because that's realistic. But most notably, what I did is... Where's the stuff? Oh, I already made it into fire clay. I went and got a bunch more, well, not that much more kaolinite. I got seven whole pieces of kaolinite. Also, I've made a couple salads for fruit. Don't worry about it. So, this should be enough now to let me make a blast furnace because at a minimum I need four fire bricks. I get two each time and I need five of the fire brick item. And if I did it the terra firma craft way, I would need four fire clay, actually probably five, to make three bricks. But with create it's one to one. Yeah it doesn't consume the ingot mold. So then I only need 10 fire clay and I've got 12 because I miscalculated at first and by the time I realized I already had a, a bit extra. Also now that I've got the extra stress capacity from the windmill, um, I've doubled the speed of everything. So far hasn't really helped, but I've doubled the speed of everything. Wait, the ingot mold's not consumed, why am I getting so many of them? So I think all I have to do, put the ingot mold there, and all the fire clay. There we go. Unfired fire bricks. What temperature do they need to be? Oh, I can bake them! I will just bake them, because that's a lot easier. I still haven't put the funnel on here, because there's just so many things that I'd put through the system that I can't realistically make the filter. And it's not too hard to pick them up anymore anyway. Now, is my mortar done? Yes. Oh, this is a lot. Eight stacks. Wow. So, four fire bricks. And too much mortar. So that was the main thing holding me back. What else did I need? Oh, right. That's why I wanted to get more, because I need the crucible. I already have one. But that does mean I don't have my good ingot forging set up. I'm gonna need to find even more kaolinite. Because I ran that dry. If I go back, it won't even say traces. I need eight raw iron sheets. Much better than the double sheets that I had to do for the extra bloomery. And then as for the setup... Oh, I need more raw iron sheets to surround the thing. I need 12 more sheets. I need 20 sheets total. Okay, that's more than a bloomery. 
It's not like I don't have enough ingots, but... Uh, as for using it... Might be fine. I can figure that out as I go. Oh, and it can be big. It says I need a bellows, but if I do it with um, bituminous coal, then I don't. I think that's unintended. I don't know. But I have the bellows anyway if I need it. And I would like another crucible to catch a lot of the excess, but... I don't think I need it explicitly. Oh, hang on. It says it will drip into any metal fluid container placed immediately below the blast furnace. Are there any containers other than a crucible? Surely I can't just, like, put a vessel there. <laughs> I'm even gonna need another crucible. I only need a minimum one more fire clay. Or not one more, two more fire clay. I'll see if I can do anything without that first. Right, so I needed 20 sheets, so that's 40 iron. That's about half of what I had. Jeez. And I need to individually weld all of them. Thankfully, if I use lignite, it won't ever melt. So that's fine. And I'll use every slot at my disposal. Okay, I think that's it. Yeah, 20. Also, I'm trying to break this copper hammer because it's very close. I guess it's time I remove the crucible for now. I will need to put it back eventually. Actually, I'd like to make two more crucibles, actually. I'm gonna need so much kaolinite. I wish I could have found another vein, but I just couldn't. There we go, blast furnace. Now, do I have room for this? It needs a deceptive amount of space. I'm gonna have to put it there. That very much feels like it's crammed in there. And then I need to put sheets on all of these sides. There, <laughs> this whole thing barely fits. All because I needed that space for the, the sheets. Oh, wait, what was that? These things. I can either anvil them out of a black bronze double sheet, or I can mechanically craft them out of rods. It costs the same, it's just I'd need to set up my mechanical crafters again. I need four of these, and I just do that. This is gonna be temporary, so I might just briefly break the setup. Whoa, shut that off. One of them... That's expensive, at this speed. Ooh, I'm always at capacity. I need to move the cogwheel over one. Ah, I'm overstressed. Oh, I found something to turn off. <laughs> okay, that's all I can do. And I think I just do this? No. This. No. I can't do diagonals. Ah, I need to force it to start. I'll just sting a lever for now. There, go. Yay! The Toye. However the hell you pronounce it. I don't want to see these mechanical crafters again every time they've caused pain. You now the system's back to the way it was. And, yep, everything's off. Right, I've got the toyer now. I need to open this up. So I need input stacks, catalyst stacks, and fuel stacks? Iron, flux, and coal. And at the lowest level, I can only fit four. So that, that, and that. 
molten. Let's see if this works. I need to wait for it to reach brilliant light first. Does it need skylight? I don't know. I'll give it skylight anyway. Oh jeez, this burns through fuel quick. So what happens when it melts fully? 400 millibuckets. How do I... How do I get this out? I have a very dumb idea. Go! Pull it out! No, it's not doing it. It might be too long. Mm. Oh wait, it's empty! It's there! <laughs> there we go, I don't need the crucible! <laughs> okay. That's... really weird, but... I, I guess it makes sense. So I've got four ingots of pig iron now. Which I think is like the iron bloom and needs to be worked into steel. Also, a weird result of using the spout, the molds and the ingots don't heat up. Despite being filled with liquid metal, they're perfectly cool at the moment that they're pulled out. I'm not the one that makes the mod, I'm just using it. So, ah, uh, to do the deploying method, I already need steel. But on the anvil, it becomes high carbon steel, and that becomes steel, again on the anvil. To turn it into any tools, I need a steel anvil. So, I need to do this process a lot. Thankfully, I think doing it through the spout would be somewhat easier. So how much do I need for an anvil? 14. Then I'd want to get at least a pickaxe and a hammer. 16. So just do this three more times. It's times like this that I wish I could have had a larger blast furnace, but... Oh well. Also, just for clarity, I'm going to put some windows in these pipes to be able to see. This is going to have to be the windows there. Actually, why not make like everything that I can into a window? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to try an experiment. What happens if I just leave all these items on top? Will it autofill? It definitely just autofilled the coal. Yeah, it autofills. And it's going through the pipes. It looks like it doesn't actually come out of the furnace until it reaches the spout. Interesting. So hopefully, that'll just work. Honestly, filling the ingots via the spout is so easy. I thought the crucible would be the savior, and indirectly it was, but filling via the crucible is still slow as hell. This is not. So, th with this system, steel's actually pretty easy to get. Although doing the auto-filling like that wastes a lot of coal, because there's no way to pull that back out again. I've just got to let that burn. Although now, if I'm back to just a charcoal forge, I've lost a lot of slots to be able to heat this up. So I just need to get to work at forging all of this. And there we go. And I'm going to keep the forge going so that I can heat these up to workable temperatures. But now, I can make that anvil. There we go. Oh god, don't hold two anvils at once. And that, yeah, I'll stick it under the iron pile for now. I wasn't expecting it to look so blue. Now, once these are workable, 
I can start turning them into tools. I'll get pickaxe first. I'll try pickaxe in the meantime. It's the same recipe. There we go. Well forged. Not quite as good as perfectly forged, but eh. There we go. Oh crap. No wonder it was the same recipe. I was making the same thing. <laughs> well, I've got the pickaxe at least. Not sure what to do with the iron one. I think I'll stick with iron for the time being and steel is like a backup. Well, that's going. I forgot. There's still one other thing that I fundamentally need to do. Oh yeah, this one's so much easier. There we go. Well forged. I'll take it. Now, all of this new steel that I'm making, four whole ingots of it, I know, crazy, I can just stick it on the deployer if the deployer was on. Can I afford to? Yes. And it just makes it for me. Good. Right, now steel is very easy for me to make because I put in the effort to get the proper infrastructure. And now, I've still got the block of coal. This is possibly the stupidest thing to do with this. I need to find... I mean, making a flint and steel isn't inherently stupid. So this basin... I am putting a block of coal on the base of it. And I think... If I just do that... Yeah, coal forge. I think it might be perpetually heated? Maybe it's a terra Femicraft thing? It's like a blaze burner if you've ever used create before. And then possibly the dumbest recipe I've seen so far. If I take all of my dirt, it is in the compactor, right? Yep, it's in the compactor. Four silty loam dirt after it's heated by a coal forge, will compress into conglomerate coal. I can hear the noise that it's heated. Do we need to put fuel in it or something? Yep, I do. So I'm just gonna turn all of my dirt into cobble. And it's pretty much one-to-one. -one. And if you remember what we can do with cobble, I hate to admit that this is almost the primary reason why I got steel. This is going to take a long time. Even at almost the fastest speed I can possibly be doing this. Oh. That was dumb. I did it again! I was just trying to take the items out. And last stack. There we go. Let's get all this going. That didn't give me too terribly much, but there's a bunch of limonite and magnetite in there. So, I guess that's good. Yeah, I got a bit out of that. God, these just are getting so full. I just have too much copper. But now that I don't have the crucible, I can't do my easy way of turning them into ingots. Well, the main reason why I did all that wasn't so I could get all the... the metals, because... Digging the quarry just gives me so much more. It's just so I could get all of this space back. There was so much dirt in my system. I think I'll also get rid of a lot of this spare basalt that I've got, because do I really need all that? And now this chest is empty completely. Also, now that I've got a flint and steel, I don't know if I need a fire starter anymore. I'll keep it there anyway, just as like a, I don't know, a spare, but the flint and steel is a lot better. Also, you may have noticed that I just got a bunch of wool. Where did I put the spindle? Why is it in organics? I don't know. But spindle and wool makes wool yarn. And then wool yarn goes on the loom just the way jute does. Except I need 16 instead of 12. Yeah, and I only get 8 per wool. 8 yarn per wool. So, I need a shear my alpacas twice to be able to get three cloth. I've made a, a bunch of other cloth, but I turned them all into sails. And I did that forgetting about something that I've been <laughs> 
wanting to do since episode 2, which is make a proper bed. Now I no longer have this crap under the under the stairs, I have this. And it's not night anymore, so I can't skip it. I'm gonna get a large raw hide back. Let's go on straight through the leather system. Right, that is basically everything that I had planned for this video. There is one thing though that I want to do, and it's involving this copper. So, I need a roof. And I was initially thinking of getting a bunch of um, chestnut? Is that the wood that I used? Yeah, chestnut. Because I can reference out here. I used it there, and it just looks kind of nice. And I don't want to use rosewood again. I mean, I definitely have enough rosewood to make it, but having everything be that color, I don't know. I don't think I want that. And the chestnut is close enough, but still different enough to different differentiate itself. I don't know how to explain it. I think it looks better to use the chestnut instead of rosewood for a roof. But I don't want to do it entirely chestnut. Which is why I have all this copper, because I can make copper blocks, and it's four sheets to make eight copper. And I would have done this earlier, but with how much heating I would have had to do, I just could not stand it. But now I've got the coal forge, and I can move it around if need be. Actually, I can just make a couple more of them. Oh, I have to do it with the peat and charcoal method. Okay, uh, I guess I'll do it some other time then. Oh, but I do this in the compactor anyway. So, I need all the ingots and the flux. And it'll make a double ingot. And then... I could just press it. Oh, soaring's the other way around. Yeah, I'm gonna have to press it, so I'll need a, another depot. I'll just move things around. And I'm gonna convert basically all of this copper. Yeah, why not? I was thinking maybe limit it to 64. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna limit it to 64, because who knows, I might need some of this charcoal. Oh, not charcoal. Some of this copper someday. So I'm gonna need 32 flux. That's what I needed, right? Oh, it's off. Yeah, that would probably help. There we go. That was very quick. Then I need to swap the basin for a depot. And I just keep taking it off. That was very quick and easy. Because Create doesn't need me to heat things up. So now I've got a bunch of copper. And I need to turn it into the cut copper because I'm making this out of slabs. So I'm a cheapskate. So now I've got pretty much two stacks of copper slabs. And I'll take the rest of my chestnut as well. Oh, but I... Mm, do I have anything that can wax it? I have to wax it like that? Oh, that's not fun. I need to get blubber and water to make tallow so that I can put it on every copper slab. Maybe I just live with it being blue. I think I'll just live with it being blue. It'll take a little while to oxidize anyway. After thinking about this, I have a suspicion that I might not have enough copper. Yeah, that's all the copper. That's all the chestnut. Yeah, I think I underestimated exactly how much I'll need. Well, I was only ever going to do the rim out of copper, and there's no easy way other than heating to get copper. So I'd, I kind of just need the crucible back to do that easily. I guess the best I can do left in the way of getting a bunch of copper quickly is to put it into, put it into a vessel and then take it out of the vessel the way I would with the crucible. How much more copper do I need? Because I I'm slightly more than halfway. I only need 42 more blocks. Oh no, 42 more slabs. 
21 blocks. Yeah, that's divisible by 3. I already have a spare, so I only need 20. 12 sheets, 24 ingots. That's manageable. Do I really just... Yep. I don't need to sit on it for a bit. Oh god, this is so slow coming from the spout. There we go, 24 ingots. Now I just need some way to get the ingots out of the casts easily, because this is still a problem. I think I got too much flux. Yeah, I put 24 in instead of 12. And there's the 12 sheets. There we go. I guess I've just got some spare copper then. Ooh, the copper's already starting to age a little bit. There we go, that's all the copper I'm going to be bothered to do. <laughs> because this is very expensive. And now I need to go out and get a lot of chestnut logs. Oh. Shit. Ah, fun. I know the screen's blacked out, but... The launch is telling me I got a null pointer exception for trying to reference the overworld dimension when I opened the map. How? Okay, this feels like enough chestnut. I don't know why I bought toolboxes. I don't need that much more space. I think this might kill the saw. Yeah, finally. I've been using that copper saw for ages. I don't want to overproduce these slabs, but I might have made slightly too many. I have so many logs now. I need to do something with them. More than just another charcoal pit. I definitely overproduced slabs. And now I have a roof. Wow, does that change the vibe in here. And wow, do I like it. This feels... Why is this nostalgic to me? I have no idea, but... The roof is on, and it looks pretty good. I like it. At least from the inside. And how does it look from the outside? If it wasn't for that overhang, you wouldn't really know it was there. You really gotta get up high to be able to see much of it. Yeah, it looks okay. It's mostly just the the copper rim at this point that changes things. Also, I forgot. I need to try and cover up this coal forge a bit. Like what I did with the others. Still a little noticeable, but... It's better than having a block hanging out. I'm pretty happy with the progress we made today. We've upgraded towards steel. Um, I still need to get my crucibles back because I need that liquid metal. It's so good. Made the roof and just a bunch of other random crap. <laughs> yeah, I think that's some pretty good progress for today. So I'm going to leave it here. Bye.